13 cards, one sending off. We should note, by the way, this is old hat for Andres Iniesta. It was just 14 months ago playing for Barcelona. Stoppage time goal to uh, put Barca through against Chelsea into the Champions League final. But when the Dutch go home and look at themselves in the mirror as a footballing country, and you, you've heard the criticism, it was not artistic, some would say cynical, uh, 13 cards and a sending off. What will they see and what will they say to themselves? You know, the, no, we will be, uh, of course, getting criticized, I think, also. And rightfully? I think, no, by the rest of the world, for sure. In Holland, we will be, you know, easier on the, on the squad. Um, I think there's a lot of talks going to be about the fact that, you know, they didn't get the corner when they had the free kick, when it, you know, bounced off the, off the wall. But, you know, on the end, if you look at it, you know, you have to give compliments to Spain because they tried in this game every time they tried to attack. They were easy also to defend because they all go to the middle. They don't go over the flanks. There's no crosses coming in. So, therefore, it was easy also for Holland to defend. But they tried over again. And Holland, they had one of the greatest chances with Robin, and they didn't, they didn't, didn't score that uh, that moment. Here it is, one against one. You had the, a great chance. You could have nicked this, uh, this 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 game because that's what it is. You could nick it, you know. And, and the irony also, the other attempt that he had in a game full of cards, he could have gone down. And Stecklenburg there could have taken a dive. Yeah, chose not to in, in a game no, where is, others would say people were playing he cynically. <laughs> well, exactly. At the, the height of irony, he, he had a moment, the moment there. there. Yeah, this was the moment for him. Uh, he, he thought that he could still do something with it, but I think uh, Casillas sussed him out that he would go to Casillas' left, so therefore it became difficult for him. But, uh, you know, overall, um, I think that uh, Holland, this team, get the best out of it, I think, to get to the final. It w there was a possibility. I think that in Holland, uh, nobody going to going to see uh, the octopus anymore. I think he has to be very careful about his life, this octopus, because... <laughs> the psychic octopus, Paul, in Oberdorf, yeah. Germany. Let me so, ask you about Bert van, van Marwijk. It, it was a small moment, but it was rather telling. The Dutch go up first after the referees uh, get their uh, accreditation and their medals for, for participating. And the Dutch get the third place medals, and Mar van Marwijk took the medal, put it around his neck, shook hands with all the officials, heads of state, royalties, and as yeah. soon as he walked off the podium, he took that sucker right yeah, off. He yeah, wants no part of it. No, you don't want to have a, a medal for the second place you know you're disappointed uh, I understand that he's disappointed he will uh, you know rewind this 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 whole game over and over again and he will think about the chance that he had he knows he didn't play the best football he knows that but there was a slight chance that you could nick it but compliments again to Spain uh, I want to say also to everyone uh, thank you for uh, ESPN hosting me oh. because it was a pleasure working with you Bob all the go other guys also thank you also for the American public for your for your patience also with us well, it's been a movable feast all month working yeah. with you my friend and we've become good buddies and I, I do appreciate that and Chris so I send it back certainly it's going to be a huge party throughout the, the nation of Spain and uh, we can recite the list of accomplishments athletically for Spain Alberto Contador the Tour de France Paul Cazal with the NBA championship ring certainly uh, Rafa Nadal he was here in attendance this evening uh, there's a uh, guy in his early 50s back in Pedrena Spain Sevi Ballesteros who's feeling the ravages of four different operations for brain cancer Sitting at home tonight, uh, watching the days and months pass by uh, on the eve of the Scottish Open, not uh, British Open, not, not well enough to get to Scotland to play in the Champions uh, Four Hole Tournament. And I have to imagine that this championship tonight brings a, a special warmth to a Spanish heart. Spain, the winners of the 2010 FIFA World Cup. That after a 1-0 triumph in the final itself against the Dutch. Derek Ray here on the studio, joined by Janusz Mihalik and Steve Nichol. Steve, let me start with you. Has the right team won this World Cup? Yes, I think definitely the right team has won. Uh, before the game, I think we hoped Spain would win, but after the way that the, the, Dutch, the Dutch played and the way that they behaved during the game, uh, yes, Spain does have to win the game. A football team won. For all that, Janusz, throughout the tournament, Spain seemed to have another gear to go to. They weren't, they weren't at their brilliant best, were they? No, they weren't. But I think the, the most important thing about Spain is that they stay through, you know, true to their strengths. And I think that's always important. You know, obviously, I mean, such a big disappointment, opening match against Switzerland, even though they could have won that game, you know, go against the run of play, I suppose. Good defending. I think there was a message to Spain what this World Cup is going to be about because I think they get so much respect from other teams. They understand they have to sit back because Spain can easily take them apart. And I, I think they grew in strength. They, they weren't phenomenal. 
uh, I, I think, in any of the matches, with the exception, tactically, I think you and I will appreciate that against Germany. It wasn't a great game. Semi final. They, uh, a semi final. I think they were very good. But, you know, uh, their key players weren't at best. And, and I'm talking not just about Torres, but I'm talking about Iniesta and Xavi. They were good, but not great. Yeah, good, but they weren't poor. They didn't mm. disappoint. It's just that I think we all expect that Spain can play the way that they did, for example, at Euro 2008. Well, I think what Spain do best is, is get in amongst you and get in behind you. You know, they play the weak quick one twos, uh, particularly around the edge of the box, and they get in behind you and, and hurt you that way. You know, not, they're not really wanting to fling balls in the box and, you know, stuff like that. They, mm. they really want to pass the ball through you. And when you're playing against teams who have nine and ten men sitting on the edge of the box, there's no space, and it makes it real difficult. And, and it means it has to be something brilliant that's going to that's going to break through. But overall, they came out, they set the stall out, and they went after teams. Were the Dutch tactics correct, Janusz, in this final? We've used the word resilient, pragmatic, to try to describe Holland in this World Cup. Not typically Dutch words when it comes to international Yeah, football. I mean, I'm, I'm a little bit divided on it, because at first we've seen the great Dutch teams in years past, and, and even in the last Euros, you know, remember, great wins against France and yeah. Italy, and then, of course, going out to, uh, to Russia, surprisingly. So I think they've changed their approach a little bit, and Van Marwijk, has said it that there's no longer total football so on that hand you got to give them some credit because they they have gotten better as well you, you could say although uh, I think we've talked about they should have been out of the tournament against Brazil but uh, still the approach in this match was just not right I think you know there's a couple players there that just wanted to kick the long no, no, shot so. I mean he was he was correct when he said that total football was no more <laughs> and, and they proved it today I mean, yeah. sometimes you have to do what you have to do to win a game uh, and certainly they knew they had to be tight and they had to defend well and, and upset the Spanish mm -hmm. but the tactics they used to do it uh, I mean they were lucky that they didn't have more than just uh, high to get sent off mm. Yeah. All right. Well, Spain certainly worthy winners of the 2010 FIFA World Cup. My thanks to Steve and to Janusz. We'll talk to you again soon.